How you going? This is HN Will, and I'm here today with... Doom City Rap. We're here to do a bit of Evolve gameplay. Now, we're going to show you one example of how to beat the Wraith. The Wraith is a simply overpowered thing to the inexperienced Hunter team, and this is just an easy way to take it down. It's a bit of a slow grind, because you just got to sit at the fucking relay and wait for it to come to you. But it saves losing to it at stage 2, because this is very beatable at stage 3. Run through what you selected, Calvin. I selected Markov with the battery increased by 15%, as it gives you a lot more time with lightning gun in your personal shield. The other alternative to that is having your the cooldown one that makes your special items recharge 15% faster. That means you get your personal shield more times than you would normally. It makes it a lot easier to stay alive, as the assault in particular. I didn't know this method would really work until these guys fully explained it to me and I just went with it as a decent assault and they knew what they were doing as the other three rolls. So basically Doom City Rep is just sitting down at the relay. Chilling out, just doing nothing, setting up mines where you where I think the monster's going to go. If you think he's just gonna go straight for the relay and you don't wanna set up a big trap, just put them all around the relay and get away from it, because he's gonna have to try and destroy the relay if he hopes to win without killing the hunters. Thus he'll be baiting himself into the trap. So the whole time here we're just waiting for him to get to level three. And we're gonna bait him in. Okay, I've finally gotten up to near the relay. Technology to the rescue! And now I'm gonna circle around and start putting some mines in very soon. Yep, so we're at the relay now. I'm pretty sure it's level 3 right now, and we're just waiting for it to attack, so we're setting up and preparing. Mm. Main thing with this relay is it's very easy to get trapped indoors with the monsters, so you just want to be prepared to get out of there as quick as possible, and back in at the same time, and try and out shoot the monster you think where you're going. At the moment I'm just putting mines in hopes it's going to come through the one of the doors to get to us. This is I think my third game fighting against the Wraith and yeah I did not go very well on my first two. I lost at stage two against them. Doom City Rep, what level did you get to on the Alpha? In the Alpha I got to level 23. I played so, that a lot. The Alpha was a bit more extended than the Beta considering the PS4's networking was playing up or something like that so they didn't get the beta for an extra I don't know, day or two so we got it extended until PS4's ended This is being run on an Alienware laptop one of the newest models This is on absolute max graphics, max everything And it runs perfectly smooth Yeah, no frame rate issues As you can see now the ray's coming in to well, mess you up and my job as a soldier is to get in its face, take the aggro off my team, and use my personal shield to distract it from killing everyone. And then pretty much bait it through all my trip mines to try and get the maximum amount of damage I can. Now what you're really going to need when you come and boss a good wraith is preferably a Val or a Kyra with the... Oh no, Lazarus does just as well with the armor piercing rounds that target well, tag your enemies and make them take twice as much damage. That and the lightning gun combination is unstoppable. It's just free two times damage, because the lightning gun's a lock on, so you don't have to aim it. And it just peels away their life. And see here, we're waiting for it to come back in. There's no point chasing it. It will win if we chase it. That's the thing you cannot do with the Wraith. Do not chase it one out. Between the decoys and it pouncing, it will take you out. And as you can see, the rest of the team are noticing that, so we're all just hiding inside, waiting. As you can see, we've got a griffin with the motion sensors, so we can keep an eye on it when it comes too close and have a general idea on where it's going to try and attack us from. Yeah, if you have one person that doesn't know their role, it can really bring the whole team down very easily. Just the, every role has its own important things to do. I've only beaten two Wraiths. This is my first win against a Wraith. My second was luckily a stage two win. But this tactic is by far the most consistent. Yeah, as you can see there, the two times damage with the lightning gun and mines just destroyed its armor.
do have a Lazarus on our team, so it does not matter if I die. Lazarus can come and revive me at any time. But in saying that, the monster can use that as bait as well. It's, it's a double-edged sword. Yeah, Lazarus can revive even though you're completely dead. Yeah. Even if you've died, Laz. As you can see now, Laz is just going to be waiting to go and viz. Yep. Oh no, he's just going to be sneaky. And then Laz has put the assault back in the fight. So all I'm trying to do is get more mines around and try and bait them through them. Because mines with a lightning gun does a lot of damage. Look at the damage it is taking. And at the moment that is without a two times damage. That is just normal damage. So you can imagine having a Lazarus with a semi-automatic tagging gun just pumps the damage out. Yeah, personal shield to save me. And that right there is how do you take down a Wraith. At least until it gets nerfed or some people get a bit better. It is a very difficult thing to come across. Thank you for listening. Cheers guys, it's HN and Will again all we have to show you for today. Hopefully he's learned a few tactics about upcoming Evolve and how to beat the Wraith. Hopefully this new monster is going to be pretty exciting to play. Have a good one guys, take it easy.